Hey, this is Dana Burtness. I'm the Midwest Fellow for the Bon Appetit Management Company Foundation, and I am psyched to help introduce the Student Garden Guide, which Bon Appetit just developed, and it, trust me, is going to become the best friend of any student who either wants to start a farm on campus or who wants to take their existing student farm to the next level. Um, this is a subject that's really near and dear to my heart. Uh, when I was a sophomore at St. Olaf College in Minnesota, I helped start Stowe Grow Farm, which is a completely student-run farm that's now in its fifth successful season. And over the past five seasons, it's been home to countless volunteers, student volunteers, community volunteers, kids groups, uh, people just in general wanting to learn where their food comes from. And student farms across the country are doing amazing things like season extension research, um, growing heirloom endangered varieties, uh, hosting summer camps for kids who want to learn where their food comes from. And because I can't help myself, I just wanted to show you a couple of pictures of student farms like Stowe Grow, just to show you uh, what amazing, vibrant places they can be. Take a look. Well, I know I could have really benefited from a guide like this when I was starting Stowe Grow. It builds out the experience of so many established student farms, and it'll walk you through the, basically the entire process from start to finish of creating your student farm. Uh, for example, it'll, it, there's a list of details to cover with the food service manager when you sit down to plant the garden during the winter, um, all the way until the fall when you have produce coming out your ears and you want to know how to promote the fruits of your labor in your student cafe. And there are also a ton of details that you wouldn't necessarily think to even ask about. Uh, for instance, I, wouldn't, I didn't know that I was supposed to ask about liability insurance, or you might not assume that you would need to ask about the best way to wash and process your produce. Um, and for students who uh, don't have a business background, I know I didn't, there's even a template in here on how to write an invoice when, you, uh, when it comes to selling your produce to the cafeteria. Um, and there are also uh, really good tips on how to practice solid business and communication skills, which are definitely the foundation of any successful student farm. So, download your copy at circleofresponsibility.com, and of course, keep in touch. Let us know how it goes. Send me your questions, your feedback, and of course, your uh, videos and photos of your successful student garden. Good luck.